Gin. What is it? Gin is a distilled alcoholic drink that is made by infusing a base neutral spirit, like vodka, various botanicals, and one of them must be juniper berries. There are a wide range of distinct styles and brands of gin, but the predominant flavor must be juniper. A common question I am often asked is, what's the difference between gin and vodka? Well, for starters, they are both clear distilled spirits, but gin is basically flavored vodka. Really? Yes. Most people don't know that. Vodka provides a good neutral base as a starting point for infusing other flavors. And again, gin uses a variety of botanicals and other flavorings to flavor the neutral spirit to get the end product. You can make gin from vodka, but you cannot make vodka from gin. How do you serve gin? For starters, you can drink gin straight, but like any alcoholic beverage, remember, if you're gonna drink it straight, make sure you're drinking something of high quality. Why? Because if you're drinking straight liquor, there's nothing to hide behind. Like if you're stuck with cheap champagne and you douse it with orange juice uh, you know, for your mimosa, that orange juice is gonna hide how cheap tasting the champagne really is. Did you know there are more classic cocktails made with gin than with any other spirit? That's right, Negroni, Gin and Tonic, Martinez, Gin Ricky, Red Snapper, Tom Collins, Vesper, Gimlet, Singapore Sling, oh, and my favorite of all time, the Martini. Vodka martinis have gained in popularity, but the original martini recipe started with gin, not vodka. How did gin originate? Oddly enough, while the national drink of England is gin, it actually originated in Holland. European countries have many regulations on their alcoholic beverages and food, and gin is no different, which takes us to our next topic, the European categories of gin. There are legally four different categories of gin in the European Union, and they are as follows. Juniper flavored spirit drinks. These include the earliest class of gin, which is produced by post distilling a fermented grain mash to moderate strength and then redistilling it with botanicals to extract aromatic compounds. Next is, well, just gin. This is a juniper flavored spirit made not via the redistillation of botanicals, but by simply adding approved natural flavoring substances or a neutral spirit of agricultural origin. The predominant flavor must be juniper. The next category is distilled gin. This is produced exclusively by redistilling ethanol of agricultural origin with an initial strength of 96% ABV in stills traditionally used for gin in the presence of juniper berries and other natural botanicals, provided the juniper taste is the predominant taste. Next is London gin. London gin is obtained exclusively from ethanol of agricultural origin with a maximum methanol content of five grams per hectoliter of 100% ABV equivalent, whose flavor is introduced exclusively through the redistillation in traditional stills of ethanol in the presence of all the natural plant materials used. Oddly enough, London gin is not always from London. Yeah, I know, it sounds strange. How is it different in the United States? Gin is defined as an alcohol beverage of no less than 40% ABV, 80 proof, that possesses the characteristic flavor of juniper berries. Gin produced only through the redistillation of botanicals can be further distinguished and marketed as distilled gin. Production methods. How is gin made? There are different techniques for the production of gin that have evolved over time. There are three basic styles of gin. Pot distilled gin. This is the earliest style of gin and traditionally produced by pot distilling a fermented grain mash, aka malt wine, from barley or other grains. Then it is redistilled with the flavoring botanicals to get the aromatic compounds. The next is column distilled gin. This evolved following the invention of the coffee still and is produced by first distilling high proof neutral spirits from a fermented mash or wash using a refluxing still such as a column still. The fermentable base for this spirit may be derived from grain, sugar beets, grapes, potatoes, sugar cane, plain sugar, or any other material of agricultural origin. The highly concentrated spirit is then redistilled with juniper berries and other botanicals in a pot still. Oh, in case you're wondering what a column still is, it's a type of still consisting of um, two columns. Next, we have compound gin. This is made by flavoring neutral spirits with essences, other natural flavorings or natural botanical ingredients that are left to infuse in that neutral spirit without redistillation. 
Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel, and we hope to see you soon.